Jess here with uh, our beautiful guest speaker at the Eyewitness Conference this year, Queen Guevara. Uh, she has just delivered a beautiful talk to our conference participants called Person and Community, Living Out Holiness and Mission with Others. Uh, Queen, if you don't mind, could you give a recap of your talk and maybe share the key points you want uh, those watching participants or people who have never been to Eyewitness before, what would you like them to remember? Yeah, sure. So uh, my talk today was really about uh, the importance of community in striving for holiness. Um, one of the big sort of takeaways that I really wanted people to sort of take on board was that you can't do life alone. Mm -hmm. um, and that demands a lot of, a lot of, things from us yeah. you know and often we don't realize uh that we get when we get involved in the way that jesus asks us to be involved in the lives of people yeah. um that we're confronted with challenges um but also really beautiful realizations about our own humanity mm. um and that that vulnerability and that authenticity is really what draws people into a life uh with mm. jesus um and that takes it isn't something that's instant i believe mm -hmm. i think that's another thing that i really wanted to uh, make known is that uh, a lot of it takes time and patience and mm. accompaniment um, but always with others yeah you mentioned in your talk that uh, virtuous friendship is the vehicle of the new evangelization in the 21st century could you just elaborate uh, on what that means what that looks like yeah sure I mean I work uh, in youth ministry for the Diocese of Parramatta I've been doing that now for about three and a half years but I've I've been involved in youth ministry for for a long time um, prior to that mm -hmm. essentially what I've come to realize and this is not just because of my work in ministry mm -hmm. but in my own life is that uh, I we need people around us who yeah. love us mm -hmm. can completely who desires our good you know saint thomas aquinas says the that love is willing the good of the yeah. other um and so if that is really what we're called to that, that sort of laying down of one's life for another person mm. that that means that we need to grow in relationship with each other yeah. and that really draws people into relationship with the lord mm. and when that happens i think people's lives are changed mm -hmm. you know um yeah it's, and it's not often i think it's really great to hear saints you know when they get like St. Paul getting thrown off a, a horse, but it doesn't mm. often happen like that for us. You know, it's the little yeah. things in our daily lives and our mm. conversations with people, uh, the mm. the hidden work that we're called to yeah. that, um, that is required in friendship that will really lead people to a fullness of uh, a knowledge of God. Yeah. Um, Quang, you've really got your finger on the pulse on the needs of um, many of the communities in Western Sydney. You're co-founder of the Young Lions Cafe, The Hustle. Um, so you're really, um, really close to the heart of the people um, in your mission and with CYP. Um, just from your experiences, do you have a sense of what God might be asking the church in, in Sydney um, to be doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think he really calls us to um, to be present to those uh, next to us mm. and around us. Um, it's funny, like I think... I mentioned earlier that we can often feel like when we're called to mission, we need to go overseas or we need to yeah. go far away. But in fact, there's so many needs uh, within our own local communities or even mm -hmm. in our parishes, in our schools, in, in our workplaces. Yeah. Uh, and there's gaps. There's people who feel isolated and lonely. You know, Mother Teresa often talks about that being a real um, sadness in our world today, that loneliness. Yeah. Yeah. And, yet, and so we're called to in the same way that that our Lord is, you know, in, in the Trinity, in the community to, to be in right relationship with other people. So sure. I think that's a, that's a real message that's really coming out in, in the work that I do is mm -hmm. nothing, nothing can replace authentic face-to-face, heart-to-heart yeah. interaction. Yeah. That's beautiful. And we're so grateful that you've come to speak to us and share the ways that you are making it um, active sacrifice for love of God um, for the people in your community. Um, do you have any last like hope that uh, <laughs> is in your heart um, for the things that you're involved in or for the church more broadly, even just in the coming few years? Yeah, I just, I really hope that um, we become more, um, more like risk takers, yes. you know, courageous in, mm -hmm. in really laying down our lives. Yeah. And I know that sounds really lofty perhaps, mm -hmm. um, but I think there's little things that God calls us to in our everyday where, where he just says, you know, you know, do, do a little bit more, or yeah. like lay down your life in this yeah. way a bit more. And I think when we, 
when we practice those little acts of um, humility, it really opens up a space for God to use us in great ways. Yeah, yeah. I think it's been a key theme of this conference. Uh, you are not made for comfort. You are made for greatness. And while I don't know if anyone specifically made reference to that quote from uh, Pope Benedict, but, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we are each called to a particular mission um, or called by name and chosen, set apart, anointed, Um yeah, so just an encouragement that um, just by virtue of your baptism, whoever's watching this, um, you've been set apart for a particular mission. Maybe you're not called to start a cafe or uh, join a basketball team, but um, the Lord's got something there for you. Um, so we pray that uh, you will find that you'll be open, uh, re ready to jump in, hit the ground running and see um, the adventure that Christ calls you. That's it.